ladies and gentlemen, are you having trouble finding copywriting clients? The problem is obvious. Here's why your outreach sucks and how to drastically improve it with these five proven outreach methods so you can get more clients and finally stop being a brokey. My name is Tyson and let's get right into it, okay? Now look. God damn. Now look, the problem with the old template that you are using, okay? Listen up. It goes a little bit something like this. Hey name. And then a little compliment, something like I was shaving my legs the other day and I thought of you. I really liked your beginner tricep routine. The overhead extensions really gave me a great burn. While checking out your personal training program, I came up with a great idea that can make you a lot more money. I created for you a three email sequence that explains my idea. I'd be willing to give it to you as a free gift, even though you obviously couldn't care less. Want me to send it over? Thanks. Bye. <clears throat> wow, riveting. Yeah, okay. Look. The main issues are, okay, it's boring and it's robotic. Completely void of substance. You can tell that it took you literally zero effort. They can tell you clicked on the first video that you found. You took a little thing out of the title and you put it in there as a compliment, trying to sound genuine and it's crap. It's ungenuine and clear you don't actually care about them or their product. Your sequence is not a gift. They don't want it. Here's the thing. Imagine some four-year-old comes up to you and they give you this drawing that they made. It's a shitty drawing. They use crayon. The sun is like a circle up in the corner with the lines coming out of it. The grass is just some green scribble. The background is just blue for the sky. You know, maybe there's some clouds if they have a white crayon and maybe a tree. Right? They're like, hey, hey, do you want this as a gift? And you'd be like, okay, yeah, sure. You know, you're just going to throw it in the fucking garbage. What are you going to do with this? It's a fucking drawing. Right? And then they give it to you and they're like, hey, do you want to pay me 2K a month for this? And you're like, uh... You know what? I'll put that I'll put that right on the fridge where everybody can see it. And I'll just I'll just put it right there for you. And I don't want any more, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay? That's why these clients are ignoring you cuz they don't want your three email sequence in the first place. It's too needy. Okay? And not to mention, it is extremely painfully overdone, okay? So check this out. We have 122,000 people in the copywriting campus. And here's the thing. They give you one outreach method for all 122,000 people in here, okay? We got 122,000 people in here sending 40 emails a day, each of them, to potential prospects. We are literally flooding the internet with the exact same email. You understand? And it's resulted in something like on the right here, okay? Now, this is a common occurrence, okay? This happens all the time. This guy gets dozens of these a day. My homie hit him up um, while he was away on vacation, and this was his autoresponder. Hey, thanks for contacting me, but I am in Iceland on beautiful Icelandic horses trekking across the country with my beautiful wife. I will be off the grid until June 24th, a day after my birthday. So you will get no response. Oh, yeah. And if we have never spoken to me before or trying to sell or send me your stupid three emails that will magically make my business flourish, I'm not or never will be interested in your service. Have a great day. Guys, need I say more? What's understood does not have to be explained. People are sick of these three email sequences. Don't send them. You have no excuse after this to send no three email sequence, okay? I'm going to give everybody five incredibly great outreach methods that I've used myself that will make your outreach unique. Okay, come on. 
we're going to go from steaming turd to stunning genius. We're going to reverse everything wrong with that first email. What's wrong with it? It's robotic, it's boring, void of substance. We're going to make it interesting, entertaining, and or maybe even a little bit funny. You can tell that it took you literally zero effort. So we're going to make it so that you can tell that you worked hard on it. It's ungenuine and clear that you don't actually care about them or the product. So we're going to make it so that you are actually genuine, shows that you care, and that you follow them and are a fan of them. Your sequence is not a gift. They don't want it. So we're going to offer them something that can actually benefit them. They may not even know what the hell an email sequence is. If they're, if you're messaging the CEO, they might have marketing completely taken to somebody else. And... They might not even know what a three email sequence is. A lot of guys in HU2 don't even know what a three email sequence is. It's not just super apparent. So they might not even know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, and it's too needy. So we're going to make it so that you come from a place that isn't needy at all. Okay. So we're going to completely revamp the way that you send emails. Now, I do have one small ask. I put a lot of work into this video and I'm giving away my secret sauce. Now, why? What is my reason? Why would I do that? Now, my one want is for people in HU2 to get more clients, is to help you guys out. Okay, seriously. If I had like, I don't want, I don't want you to buy no fucking course. I really, really don't want your money. I don't even want you to like the video. This video is unlisted on YouTube. I don't want you to like the video for the algorithm. You don't have to subscribe. All I want is two things. To help you guys. One, let me know if this helps you by sending me a message on Discord. And that will let me know that I should be making more videos. And two, if you know anybody who's struggling with outreach, make sure that they watch this so they stop sending a crappy outreach email. Okay? And without further ado, let's get right into these extremely effective methods. Okay? I'm going to start with the ones that are a little bit more heard of. You know, not that crazy, not that out there. But the last two are the ones that I have gotten the majority of my clients from and have gotten me the best results. Okay, so I'm saving the best for last. The first couple are really good. And you can definitely work off of them. But um, yeah, we're just going to go from there. But first. No. Okay, here we are. But first, we must discuss your superpower. Now, look, what do you, Spider-Man, Wolverine, and the Hulk? all have in common well you're all badasses okay but you all got superpowers now let me ask you a question imagine the hulk okay imagine the hulk and he's just in his regular human form he's like bruce or whatever i think his name is okay and he's walking down the street and he gets mugged some dude comes up to him and is like yo bro give me give me your wallet give me all your shit and bruce is like hell nah so in his human form he squares up okay but like he, he can't really fight like that. So basically, he gets sparked. Okay, he gets sparked. He's laid out on the floor, and the dude just takes takes his wallet and runs away. Now, what would you say to him? What would you say to Bruce? Bruce, why didn't you go Hulk mode, bro? You could have clobbered him. You could have went. Uh, you could have went Hulk smash on his ass. Could have messed this shit up. But no, he didn't do nothing. He didn't do none of that. That's exactly what you look like when you're not using your superpower. Maybe it's because you don't know that you have a superpower. You don't know how to use it. So I'm going to tell you right now. Your superpower is that you are a one of one person. Completely unique. Okay. Now, I know you probably heard this from your mom a million times. Oh, you're a special snowflake, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not telling you this for some bullshit to make you feel good. I'm telling you this so you can use it to your advantage so you can start making some real fucking money. Okay. Here's the thing. The biggest reason why the old method doesn't work is because everybody is doing it, okay? So you need to come up with your own thing. And changing just a little bit, a couple words, is not fucking good enough. You need to really come up with your own fucking idea and burn some fucking brain calories here. And come up with your own shit so you can really utilize your superpower. You're the only person in the world with your unique, exact personality and experiences. So that has to show through your outreach method, okay? So the biggest thing to take away from that is... Do not, when I give you these outreach methods, steal the fucking words. Do not copy and paste shit, okay? Don't steal the words. Steal the fucking ideas behind them and make them your own. 
that is how to use these outreach methods. So now we're going to actually get right into them. Method number one, the Loom video. Now, a lot of you guys will probably heard of this, um, but maybe not. Now, it doesn't actually have to be a Loom video. It could just be a video with your phone, whatever. What is a Loom video? Well, you're looking at one. A Loom video is literally me screen recording and uh, I got my webcam on and it just puts me in the corner here. Okay. And this is kind of what the website looks like. How it's done. Basically, you create an initial email. Okay. So this can basically be combined with some of the other ones that I have. Um, it's basically just a free, a, a type of free value that you can send. Create an initial email offering a Loom video as free value. So for example, a CTA at the end of your initial email could look like this. I went ahead and made you a quick three minute video explaining a bit more about what I mean in depth. Would you be open to checking it out? Now, the contents of the video could be, you know, a myriad of things. It could be critiques on their sales page. It could be critiques on their emails and their email sequences. Um, you could even help them out with like their sales funnel or do like an audit of their sales funnel or the lead magnet or anything really. Just, just, just anything. Okay. Jesus. So the loom video is so effective because for one, it proves that you're a real human, a real human being. Imagine that. So one of the anxieties that business owners are going to have when you send them emails like this is that you're just a bot that sends out a thousand emails like this a day. So by you actually getting on camera and uh, doing a short video for them, it proves to them without a shadow of a doubt that you're an actual human. Okay. And you get a chance to showcase your knowledge and how articulate you actually are. If you can get on camera and actually speak on this stuff with no mm, us and you're actually confident on camera, then it's going to go a long way and you're going to sound like you really fucking know what you're talking about. And they get to see your handsome ass face. If you don't understand what the halo effect is, basically people like to do business with good looking people because they're more trustworthy and it's like a subconscious psychological thing, right? So they get to see your handsome face. It shows the degree of effort you're willing to put in. You, um, you know, you sat down at your computer, you can prepare a little script, you got your background looking nice, you dressed up all nice, and it shows that you're actually willing to put in effort. Okay. Next up, we got, next up we got the drastic disrupt. Okay. Come up with something disrupting, a disrupting opening that will stop your prospect dead in their tracks. For example, okay. Now these are just examples that I made in literally two seconds. Come up with your own. I just had the biggest revelation of my life, and it was about whatever their product is. I don't know. I literally cannot go another three seconds without making sure that you know this. Okay. And the last one, if I told you that you could earn $36 for every $1 you spent, you'd call me a liar. And I wouldn't blame you for a second. Now, guys, if you don't know, the average ROI for email marketing is actually $36 return for every $1 spent. You know, that's some good shit to know um, in case they ever ask you or whatever, you know. One second, I'm parched. Okay. Uh, okay. Next. The drastic disrupt works because it's over the top and it hijacks their attention. It's much better than some shitty fucking compliment because... All the comments on their videos are compliments. They're used to compliments if they're a creator. whoop de doo you sent them a fucking compliment. It's not fucking actually disrupting. It's not really going to make them want to even read the whole thing. They could read it, open it, read the couple of, first couple of words. Oh, I really like this, blah, blah, blah. Bored, fucking next. Don't even look at it. Why wouldn't they? Why would they look at it? You don't give them anything fucking actually intriguing. It gives them a taste of how good you can actually write copy. If you can write a good disrupt that has their eyes glued to the fucking screen. You don't have to tell them how good you are at copy. They already know. You can fucking show them. You can be playful about it and actually show your personality as well, which is always good. And it has the ability to make them laugh, make them chuckle. You brighten their day and they automatically like you. And the next uh, method, so you can see the book there. The next method is the irresistible offer. So you research your target niche and find out what they really, really, really want, okay? 
So if it's a high ticket coach, maybe they want more high ticket leads, right? High ticket for their uh, for their high ticket coaching program. Maybe they want more conversions. Maybe they want more upsells. Maybe they want this, that, or the other thing, right? But you create an irresistible offer for them based on their greatest desire. For example, I will get you 15 high ticket leads through your email in 30 days, or not only do you not pay, but I'll actually give you 200 bucks for wasting your time. Guarantee an outcome in a certain time frame, and then make it completely risk free. Okay, so literally, it's irresistible. The only way someone doesn't make money after they read this is if they walk away. Otherwise, if they don't walk away, they are making money, no matter what happens. So they're chill about it. You know, it's 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 you know you'd feel stupid saying no to that. The irresistible offer is effective because you will meet a lot less resistance because there's a lot less risk involved for them. You can easily get on sales calls with people. You have possibility of inbound leads. Now, I've actually seen this where people have run ads and their ad is basically just um, an irresistible offer. Hey, I can do this and this X time. Otherwise, I pay you. Um, and people, I've even seen it done for email marketing, right? So, you know, you can put it out there, post it somewhere, here, there, the other place, and you have the possibility of getting inbound leads, and inbound leads are always much nicer to work with because they're just that much easier to close. Oops. Um, if you get on a call with someone and discover that you can't give them that guarantee, so let's say your guarantee is, oh, 15 leads in 30 days, but they have a small-ass email list, like 500 or something, you can't get them 15, then you can either tailor it to them, say, like, oh, I can get you 10, or I can get you 7 per month, or you just throw the fucking guarantee out the window and be like, look, I can't get you to 15 with your small list. But what we can do is build a lead magnet and work on people getting into your list. Work on nurturing them, get them through a good sequence, and then, you know, uh, get there later on. But we can't get there right now. Right? And then you already have that lead. So you already have them contacting you. You know they want email marketing. And, uh, you know, you kind of kind of get to set expectations from there. And you'll never have to actually pay anyone if you don't get the results. So it's, it, you know, you're not actually risking your fucking money. Method number four. Now, these two are the ones that I use to make money, bro. These ones are the best. Um, and they really, they kill all resistance at all. Like, do, do, pro, just do these last two mostly. You know, those other ones are good if you want to build off of. But these last two are, are my favorite, personally. They were, they're were, what's worked for me. So I stand by them. Throw professionalism out the window. Come up with something completely out of left field that they genuinely have never, ever seen before. Okay, pictures work great for this. Um, and it helps to research and find out what exactly they find funny. Maybe they like a certain book, a certain movie, something that really they always find funny or they mention that's really funny to them. Show your personality. And the only rule here is don't be extreme. Okay, I know there's a lot of stupid ass idiots in HU2 that might take this too far. So don't do that. Okay. And uh, yeah, anyways. It looks something like this. So this is something I might send to someone like Jason Capital. Hey, Jason, check out this picture of us. Would be the subject line. He opens it up. He sees his fucking face and my face shaking hands. Kind of funny, right? Kind of cute. Then the email body might look something like this. You're probably wondering why on earth I sent you this picture. Two reasons. One, I know you get messages like these all the time. So I thought I'd stand out by trying to make you chuckle. I can't actually picture us working together. I was checking out your program and actually went ahead and made a quick three minute video of some marketing ideas I had. Would you be open to checking it out? Bam. Okay. I think I got another example. Okay. Let's go. This is the one that I would make for Dan Locke. Hey, Dan, did you know we're in a movie together? And there's me and Dan Locke in Rush Hour 2. Now, if you don't understand, you know, it's kind of it's kind of a joke because this is a movie with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Jackie Chan is obviously Asian. Chris Tucker is obviously black, just like me and Dan Locke. So it's like, you know, it's like Rush Hour 4 up in here. But anyways, 
you know, it's kind of, might make him laugh. You know, Dan Locke obviously gets messages like this all the time. So if something made him laugh, made him chuckle, he'd at least read the rest of the email and see, okay, what's what's this kid got? You know, it's it's personable. So the email body would look a, a little bit like basically the same. But the way that I would tie it in and be like, you know, the second reason I sent you this is because I think we could actually make a pretty kick-ass team. You know, so basically um, what I would do is I'd send them kind of like a funny picture or whatever with their face or our face in it. And then somehow kind of relate it back to, um, you know, what I was trying to pitch to them. So the copy comedian method is effective because it makes you stand out, right? It shows that you have a sense of humor and it will make them like you, okay? People like to do business with people that they actually like. There might be a guy that's super qualified, but if you can't stand being in a room with him for more than 10 minutes, you're not going to hire him, period, right? So it will make them like you. You come off as more genuine and as an actual human being. It's highly personalized and it shows that you put in some effort. Okay. It took me like 15 minutes to make those pictures. All right. And you can tell that I didn't just fucking, I wouldn't just do that and make that for fucking anybody. Right. It makes them feel special. Here is one of my results um, from doing such things. Tyson, genius way to grab someone's attention. Very real, personalized. Thanks for the video. And then this is kind of just a whatever, many thanks. Yeah. Now, the fifth and last one is the bait and switch method. Now, this nearly has a 100% reply rate when I use it on Instagram. And here's why. Okay. So, basically, you ask your prospect if they offer X, right? And ask them about their product. So, for example, hey, um, I see that you offer a mentorship program. Is this group mentorship or is this individual mentorship, right? Now they're going to think, immediately think that you're interested in buying, you're an interested customer. So they're, of course, they're going to answer you. Then you ask them a little bit about the lead magnet or something else that pertains to their email list, sales page or whatever. Be something like, uh, you know, I seen that you offer a lead magnet. Are you, are you running any email marketing right now? Right. Then that that subtly switches it over to like, I'm not actually looking to buy, but I'm asking questions about your business. Right. If you know about a lead magnet and know about email marketing, then, you know, you're already showing your knowledge. From there, you can slowly and smoothly move into the pitch. All right. Now, this is some real game here, guys. These these this is shit that I wish that I knew. Okay, if I knew this earlier, I'd be much farther ahead than I am right now. But I'm giving y'all my secret sauce, my Krabby Patty formula for free right now. Damn. So, for example, hey, I had a quick question about your free leg shaving course. Hey, thanks for reaching out. What's up? You can be like, I noticed that you gave I gave you my email and I actually didn't receive any emails or newsletters in my inbox. Just curious. Are you running any email marketing campaigns? No, I'm not actually. I haven't been able to find anyone to write the newsletters, and I'm too busy to write them. I'm actually a copywriter myself. Would you be open to taking a look at an email sample package that I put together for your course? They could be like, yeah, G, send it over. And then boom, send it over. Obviously, it's fucking fire. And you see here, they they say that they have the problem before you send it over. If you send it over and your your email sequence... They could just not even want it in the first place. They could just be wanting to know what your idea is, right? So they don't actually want your email sequence, and they don't really know what the hell to even do with it. It's useless to them, right? Like a drawing from a four-year-old. And the bait-and-switch method is so effective because they almost always reply thinking that you're an interested customer, and they will usually be extra kind to you, especially at first. So if they think you're an inbound lead, they'll be like super nice, you know, send you, be like super whatever, send you back uh, messages super quickly because they think you're a customer. It creates dialogue and back and forth. And now that you have them replying, it's harder for them to actually ghost you. You're not coming off as needy. And it's a much more organic interaction. And they know that you're not just some shitty bot or sending this to like 50 people in like a couple hours. And here is a result that I've gotten from that. I basically did the whole bait and switch thing. 
And then I was like, would you be against scheduling a call? And he was like, would you be against going to Cheesecake Factory? Of course, I'm not against it. So, you know, when you get um, enthusiastic yeses like that to calls, like the work is already done. The work is already done at that point. So that's all for this video. Now you have no excuse for why your outreach should suck. These are some of the videos um, that I'm thinking about making. Um, if any of them would help you, you know, let me know. If this video helped you at all, also hit me up on Discord. My name on Discord is just Tyson, at T-Y-S-O-N, and then my pronouns. And just hit me up. Tell me um, if it helped you. If you made any money with these, also let me know. And send it to someone who's struggling getting clients. Guys, go out there and kill it. And remember, steal the ideas and not the words. See you later.